Hello, Dr. Joe here of the DrJoe.com and the 2020from.com. So, today I want to talk to you guys about your HDL cholesterol, the so-called good cholesterol. Guess what? Your HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, is failing you. Yes, it is failing you. This is hot off the press. New research is telling us how your good cholesterol is a big failure. Now, some of us already knew that. Uh, but this research is really confirming it and that's what I want to share with you guys today. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the question is, what is the deal with the good cholesterol, HDL cholesterol? What is the deal with it? Will it pass the latest scrutiny? That's what uh, the study we're going to be looking at is about. And the study objective was to understand how cholesterol levels in black and white middle-aged adults without heart disease affected their future risks going forward okay so this was the study objective and the study design was as follows uh, the study authors recruited 23,901 men and women who were black and white uh, they had to be 45 years and over and more importantly, had to be free of heart disease at the inception of the study. And they conducted blood and urine tests on them, ran EKG or ECG on them as well to make sure they were heart disease free. And they, what they did next was to telephone the study participants every six months to detect whether they had any cardiovascular events. And they did that for 10 years. So, what were their results? Now, uh, this is where things get interesting. There were 664 heart disease events in the black folks who were enlisted into the study. And for the white folks, there were 951 heart disease events. And uh, what they also found was that low HDL cholesterol, which is a good cholesterol, had slight increase in heart disease risk if you were white okay however if you were black low good cholesterol levels had no effect in your heart disease risk so black individuals were not affected if their HDL cholesterol was low it did not increase their risk of heart disease other results they found was that high good cholesterol levels okay high HDL levels did not reduce heart disease risk in both white and black individuals. So black or white, uh, if your good cholesterol levels were high, uh, it didn't matter. It did not reduce your risk of heart disease. What, however, influenced your uh, risk of heart disease was the LDL, okay? The bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Those are the two main markers that had influence on your risk of heart disease so natalie premier uh she was one of the authors she said uh it was shocking she said i did not expect high levels of hdl would not be protective and i certainly did not expect low levels to have no predictive value for black adults she also said those of us with high hdls have been getting a pat on the back from our doctors we've been told uh, HDL is good, so don't worry, you're protected. Uh, well, that's not the case as far as the study is concerned. So, uh, and here is the uh, study. Uh, it was published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology with the title Risk Dependent Association of High Density Light Reporting Cholesterol Levels with Incident Coronary Artery Disease. So, a few points I want to make. The first point is that your HDL cholesterol, which is the so-called good cholesterol, it's not really a great marker for heart disease. Some of us in lifestyle medicine will be saying this. Uh, some cardiologists have been saying this. Uh, but there are cardiologists who believe so strongly in the HDL and uh, they tell patients off uh, when they have low HDL cholesterol, they want them to increase their HDL cholesterol because they believe that you know a high HDL is essential uh, for reduction of heart disease. 
Well, this data uh, that we just got from this very research now is not supporting that very idea. We need to be careful how we sell this idea of uh, the uh, HDL cholesterol to people, to everyone. Now, the other point I want to make is that at the end of the day, the HDL cholesterol is a cholesterol after all. In fact, there is research evidence to suggest that HDL levels of 80 and above may be detrimental to health. So uh, we really need to be careful on how uh, we discharge uh, the idea of uh, having high HDL levels uh, to uh, everyone. And that leads me to the second point, which is that you guys should stop wasting your money buying supplements that promise to increase your HDL levels. Uh, for a start, a lot of them don't work. Even when they do, as we just found out, increasing your HDL levels uh, is not going to make a difference to uh, your risk reduction for heart disease. So uh, stop wasting your money buying supplements that purport to uh, increase your HDL levels. Now, uh, the third point I want to make is you want to concentrate on uh, the markers that really matter, and that is uh, your LDL levels in particular. Uh, the small dense subfraction of the LDL. That's the one you want to concentrate on. The second uh, marker you want to concentrate on is your apple B levels. You want to concentrate on those two markers because high HDL levels uh, is not going to make a huge difference to your risk reduction for heart disease as far as uh, the data from uh, this very uh, piece of research is telling us. Uh, so something there for you guys to, uh, to take note of. Now, things may change in future. Uh, the science is always moving, but as things stand as of today, uh, your HDL levels being high is not going to make a huge difference to uh, your risk reduction for heart disease. So those are the points I just wanted to make. Now, before we go, I just want to uh, talk about my book for high blood pressure management using lifestyle approach. Links to get the book is going to be right below this very video. So hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this very video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments or questions down below. I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.